Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. Of course, you're here for Get to the Point, Get to the Point, Get to the Point. That's my segment that I put on for you all where we talk about entertainers getting in the news, okay? The biggest story we have today is coming from Bossup, okay? Y'all know the vlogging site. Y'all are familiar with it. But we're going to be talking about T.I. and why he went to church. But he didn't go praise the Lord. He only went to show homage to Kanye West when he was here in Atlanta at New Birth Church trying to preach the gospel. My thing is, why did Tiny and T.I. come to looking like they were going to a basketball game? Okay, look how they dress. Look how they are dressed. Okay, like they're looking at somebody playing on the court. And they just got their front court seats and their team ain't winning. I mean, what happened to dressing semi-formal casual or business casual or some sort of upscale type of dressing? You know, when you go to church, you want to put bring out your Sunday best, okay, for Sunday service. I mean, he and Tiny go out in them streets going to the club looking sharp, going to... Uh, engagements here around Atlanta or in LA or wherever they looking sharp even on his show he's looking sharp when he goes and have business meetings he looking sharp from head to toe but when he going to church okay and then I heard that he even missed the collection plate he missed the sermon he missed everything so my thing was why you just didn't go see him in concert because that's how Kanye was giving you was a bunch of concert nonsense, okay? Up in the house of the Lord. And we already know those who have eyes to see and ears to hear. Kanye West is for Kanye West and he worship the almighty dollar. He don't worship saving souls and telling people about Jesus Christ. Watch his lingo whenever he's out there preaching, okay? He is a wolf in sheep's clothing. That's all Kanye is. That is my opinion, okay? But I'm just saying, if you're calling yourself going to New Birth Church on Sunday, you know there's going to be service. Why are you so relaxed like you're going to the gym looking like or going to somebody's uh, basketball game? that they're in high school or maybe even college, and you're looking the way you're looking. Both of y'all looking a hot mess. I'm like, and then Killer Mike was supposed to be up there. And I don't know who the couple is that are, are sitting next to T.I. and um, his wife, Tiny. But they look kind of casual, but they look a little bit better than what Tiny and T.I. coming up in there looking like. I'm like, that was just a shame and an embarrassment. That's my opinion only because I was always taught when I'm going into the house of the Lord, even when I'm going to Bible study, we go and look presentable. We try to wear our best because we're being respectful. We're paying homage to the church itself because everything when you step on church ground is holy. Okay. And him and Tiny, meaning T.I. and his wife came looking like a homely mess. Okay. A homely mess homeless looking mess oh i was so disappointed in them totally disappointed but let's get on in to the article itself all right it was written by boss up staff uh journalists and they had the uh article called jesus t.i felt church prayed on his pockets during kanye's sunday service message Jamal Bryant denies it expeditiously. Okay, now we already know church be having all them building funds. They be having the pastor's fund. They be having the, the anniversary fund. We already know, in a nutshell, church love to pray on people. Okay, but hey, it's biblical. 10% is what you're supposed to give back to the storehouse. Storehouse is considered church. Okay, 
for a worthy cause. All right, it's good to it's for the pastor's upkeep, the church upkeep, and uh to definitely keep on spreading the good news, which is the word of God. Okay, but I am basically disappointed and kind of should have just grabbed him from behind and said, uh uh-uh, you gonna put on some slacks and you're gonna put on a, a decent shirt, a polo, however. We ain't going out looking like we finna go play ball in, in on the court somewhere, or we finna get ready to go exercise. And no, we're not going up in the house of the Lord like that. But see, it didn't turn out that way. Maybe she did, and maybe he told her, child hush before I pop you in the mouth. Okay, sit yourself down. You either come with me or you ain't, but I'm going just like this. And see, you know, I, I don't like domineering women and I don't like domineering men. It needs to be a balance. But I just think T.I. as well as his wife was wrong going up in church looking like that. And they can and know they should be doing better. All right. Oh, that was a hot mess. But I thought I would bring it to you because I wanted to get your all's take on it. But getting to the article, I read you the title. Now let's go on and see what they printed in black and white for me to read and discuss with you all. Okay. It said T.I. felt exploited. Doing Kanye's Sunday service, but the pastor denies it. Now, that was the ugly face that you're just going to see totally in this video. Because I'm like, why would you even come up there looking with that frown? You didn't have to come. You didn't have to come at all. Because if you're going to make that type of face and you calling yourself uh, being a millionaire down there in the front row along with Killer Mike and Kanye being there advertising himself in Sunday service, worshiping. You're going to feel like, oh, we don't have to give y'all money. I didn't come for that. You ain't really my home church, so I don't have to pay you anything. Well, you know what, T, I I know you don't. But God is looking at you. Yes, he is. He looking at you. Where people are giving much, much is expected from them. That is biblical. So why are you trying to hold on to your purse strings when it comes to the church and then you want to spread it low and slide it wide and pop bottles and make it rain on strippers that's okay is that what you're trying to tell me ti or the audience i'm trying to entertain on my channel is that the message you're giving us brother okay let me get off your train not that i ever was on it uh, well, I take that back. When T.I. was doing the underground work and he was coming out with the motivation and, you know, all that good music, uh, rolling on 20 folds and all that, that's when I really respected him. He was coming for the grind. But now he's turning into this, like, celebrity spokesperson for the music industry type of guy, dude. He don't got soft. And I don't even know if he was really hard to begin with. He probably was one of them manufactured type of uh, gangsters, okay? Not really had no street credit, not really had no time in jail that he could talk to other young G's about. You know what I'm saying? I think he was a manufactured type gangster. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, okay? But getting back to the article, it said Kanye's sun- Sunday service was held at Newburgh Missionary Baptist Church in Atlanta a little over a week ago, and it went down with a few hitches, according to Rapper T.I. Okay, I did a, a complete article, um, well, not a real article, but a video on it. So check in my archives. You can see how I got down in the points I was stressing at his black ass. Okay, but anyway, moving from there, meaning Kanye, not T.I. Uh, it says, Tip attended the event with his wife, Tiny, and the couple sat next to Two Chains and his wife, Keisha. Okay, folks wonder what was going on in the rapper's head after this photo of Tip scrunching up his face or scrunching up his face um and it was shared on social media and of course y'all can see it because i'm playing it through the whole video because it just took my breath away like what was something stinking in there was somebody saying some smile were you uh smart was you uh smelling a breath i mean what was going on because my deal would have been just leave the church service as it is if you feel they were trying to pimp you for your money. You should have left. It, it wouldn't have been no something to service, honey. It was just letting them get out these doors, okay? Because evidently, you weren't being a cheerful giver as it is speaking so loudly in the Bible. If you can't be a cheerful giver, don't nobody want your money, honey. Don't nobody want your money. You give it and let it go, all right? He's going to be his go, right? But anyway, going back to the article, it said... um. Now we know that Clifford, my daughter liked to call him the Clifford, the big red dog, and that's what he looking like today to me. All right, but it says, now we know that Clifford felt offended 
by the church allegedly shaking him and his fellow millionaire guests down for cash way before Yeezy even hit stage, okay? I was like, now how they shaking you down? First of all, you came after they passed the collection plate around and uncounted it up and put it in the vault until it's time to go to the banky bank, okay? And make that big deposit. So you didn't come for the service. You didn't come to put no money in the collection plate. Um, and you were just there for the start of a concert that Kanye was giving in the house of the Lord. Okay. And all that whole building should have been tearing down on uh, everybody up in there that was going to just pay homage and praise and idol worship Kanye West. Okay. It was supposed to be worshiping. But as, we, I, as I heard, the whole uh, parking lot was like packed. Like it was like around the whole building and then some. People had came early, much earlier than Sunday service was supposed to be starting. Okay, I'm I'm getting uh recollections of people telling me like four or five o'clock in the morning and service didn't start till like eleven. Okay, I understand that. You're gonna work. You're gonna rush to see a celebrity. Okay, out there doing his thing. That to me wasn't godly at all. But you can't come to the house of the Lord in droves and packs and lines waiting there early in the morning. Something's wrong with that picture. Okay, those who have eyes to see and ears to hear, listen to me. That ain't nothing but satanic worship and all of that. Okay, and the people weren't there to praise the Lord. They wanted to get a little peeky boo at Mr. Kanye, see if they can get some photo ops or whatnot. All right, or maybe some little autographs. It was nothing about the Lord up in that house that day. It was blasphemy. But let me get on back to the story because I'm just running my mouth and people going to get in the comments and attack me. I know they are, even though they know I'm preaching the truth. All right. But anyway, we're going back to the article. It said, when we sat down, there was a whole new agenda. It was like they rung the red bell like at the Players Club, T.I. said. Now, why is he going to talk about or get an analogy where we're going to say, oh, the church is trying to ask you for money, but then the strip club doing the same type of format, but you ready and willing and able to throw out them dollars making it rain and popping them champagne bottles Okay, over some illicit behavior, but you can't give it to the house of the Lord and just be a cheerful giver. Hmm. Okay, ain't that the pot calling the kettle black? But going back to the article, Killer Mike called it being finessed out of some money. What y'all brothers didn't have no money to begin with? Now y'all feel like a shakedown is coming on. Man, please. Anyway, T.I. added, it's not that I have anything against pastors or against preachers, so to speak. It's just I've been raised in the trenches and I want. And I was taught to peep game. You ain't about to run no game on me. I will not be extorted. Okay, then Pastor Jamal Bryant has since responded. Then he rebuted the uh, allegations that were being thrown out there. He said to T.I.'s claims that the church was being thirsty for money during the special service. He says the service was the usual church service. No unusual requests for money were made. He then went ahead and named all of the ways the church has used money donated for charity. I don't want Sunday to be used as further ammunition as to why people don't go to church without them knowing at this same church, we gave 5,000 pairs of new back-to-school shoes to kids of Atlanta, or that we spearheaded 9 million campaigns to support Bennett College, or that we bailed out nonviolent offenders, or that we partnered with Delta to send four cargoes to the Bahamas for hurricane relief, or that we partner with uh, Hampton New to place display students or that we fed the furlough workers or furloughed workers for two weeks while the government was shut down or that we went into housing projects to feed kids of the cab county during spring break for none of those for none of these projects were you solicited for a donation now that was pastor jamal bryant clapping back on both ti as well as killer mike Okay, and he goes on to give an apology to, apology to both of them if they thought they were being finessed or shaken down, how they like to call it, for some money. But my thing was, I would have just escorted both of their behinds out when they were looking the way they were looking and probably talking smack. I would have said, security, could you please, could you please 
uh, escort these gentlemen out because evidently they ain't got no holiness in them. They want to start like they some bad street gang members and don't want to hear nothing about the Lord because the Lord ain't been taking care of them. Okay. But that's all I had for this video. I spoke my mind, my peace. Y'all tell me what y'all think about what could have happened, what allegedly may have happened in your own words, okay? Because I know y'all ain't shy. Y'all ain't shy in my comments, honey. Y'all be weighing me out, weighing each other out, and probably can take anybody else that wouldn't come in there, another entity. <laughs> but okay, so uh definitely get in the comments i like to see the interaction amongst you all i like the interaction you give to me both positive both negative i'm thick skinned so definitely i can take the pressure the heat but we need to talk about these things about why are we using secular music people to come in desecrate um the church and what is founded on and then you don't want to throw up no money. You don't want to make it rain in the church. Okay? I don't understand it. But he wants to be this political figure running out here. Want to do things for the black community. But he don't want to be finessed, as he put it, or shook down for his uh, coins, his dollars, or whatever he felt he deserved. And I'm like, you, pray, you first of all, you front and center, okay? Why you didn't sit in the back if you were disgusted that much? Why you didn't leave? I mean, Kanye could be seen in uh, several other states for his Sunday service, okay? You didn't have to stay. You could have went if you felt that uh, disingenuous about the whole thing, how it was turning about, like they wanted more money from you. Then you could have left. You didn't have to stay there. You weren't chained down. There were no cuffs on you, not nowhere, no how. Okay, but I'm saying my piece. Y'all tell me what y'all think. Y'all speak y'all piece. Speak y'all mind on this commentary, okay, that I'm dropping to you. All right, y'all have a good night, and I'll see you next video. Peace.